Every instrument needs some kind of vibrating mechanism that makes the sound, and uh, woodwinds have their reeds, and uh, strings have the strings that they vibrate. But we have to do it all with our lips, so that's a big deal. We have to keep that in shape. Um, and I, you know, I practice actually on a daily basis. I will do a little bit of just free buzzing where you <laughs> make a sound with your lips. And uh, actually, of late, that's been my new kick is to really kind of a, try to understand what's going on mechanically with my lips when they buzz from low to high. Uh, low notes are really loose and and the high notes you have to have a lot more control. And that's where it gets tricky is what muscles you incorporate to really control what's happening in the high range. rise to the standard to be in the Philadelphia Orchestra, you also really think a lot more about your body and your air and being relaxed. So uh, one thing I do on a daily basis sure. before playing and pretty much every time I pick up the horns before I play, I just take a deep breath. Uh, it's easy to lose sight of that simple process, that simple thing that is critical to sounding beautiful. I actually practice a little bit of yoga. I'm not like nuts about it, but I will uh, put myself in an uncomfortable position and breathe right through it. For example, I might do a pose like this <clears throat> where I'm shaking here, but I'll concentrate on it. So I'm shaking, but I'm breathing through it, and that really relates to the orchestra. When Bolero's coming up and I have to come in on a high B flat and my body's going, <sighs> but I'm able to get through it, so.